Hi YouTube, it's Kathy. Happy Bookmas. We are nearing the end of 2017, which means for a lot of booktubers we are talking about our 2018 reading goals. 2017 was really the first year I made concrete reading goals. I mean, I've been on Goodreads for years and I've put, you know, 50 as my reading goal or whatever it was. But besides that, I never really did anything about it. I just kind of read as much as was going to happen. This year, however, I had three reading goals and I met all of them by summertime. One of those reading goals was to read at least a hundred books and at this point I've read over 180. Another was to read at least five from countries that I hadn't read from before and I've done at least seven, possibly more. I haven't really been keeping track, I just know I'm past the five. And the other goal was I wanted to participate in at least one readathon where I was reading full-length books instead of just graphic novels. Whoa boy, I've done a bunch of those this year. Actually, let's see how many. Okay, I just searched my videos from this year and found all my readathon TBRs and apparently I've participated in 10 readathons this year. I mean, I'm currently still participating in three of those ten, but still. In January, we have Diversathon 2.0. In June, there was the Library-a-thon. In July, the booktube -thon. In October, Get Graphic and the Spooktacular Readathon. November was Nonfiction November, as well as the Tome Topple. And then, of course, right now I have the Holidayathon, the Sapicathon, and the Grinchathon. So that's a review of 2017. For 2018, I'm going to leave my reading goal at at least 100 books. I know at this point that I'm so tantalizingly close to getting to 200 books this year, especially with the books that I need to finish for all the readathons I'm doing right now. But I fear that if I put it too high, it's going to feel like it's a job and I'm not doing it for enjoyment anymore, which I don't want. I read for enjoyment. I have all throughout the year. Sure, I've pushed myself to read more because I want to wrap up as many things as I can in a week or at least wrap up more than one thing in a week. But none of that has been bad pressure on me. That has just been good pressure and I don't want to increase that pressure and make it into bad pressure. In 2018, I would like to host a readathon or at least co-host a readathon. I think at this point my preference would be to co-host a readathon, so co-host a readathon that somebody else is already doing. So if there's anybody watching this who is going to need a co-host sometime in 2018, me, please, it me. And at this point, I'm kind of on the lookout for the third goal. I kind of want to find a longer reading challenge that can last throughout the year that I can put some energy into. Near the beginning of this year, I found Diversity Bingo and I was really into it for quite a while and then kind of fell out of love with it for a few reasons, which I've already discussed in a wrap up I did recently, so I'll link that in places. But if there is a set of 20 to 30 books on a reading challenge that you know of, please let me know, especially if you think I'd actually be interested in it. Like I said, this is only my second year of making actual reading goals, so I don't want anything super constrictive because reading is fun after all. That's why I do it. I enjoy it and then I enjoy talking to you about it. Recently I put a poll up on Twitter asking if people thought that I should change the format of my weekly wrap-ups to just be books or to keep it as my read, watch, listen or asking people if they even knew I did wrap-ups, and one person voted that out of the three people that voted, so I was like, are you being a smartass, or do you just actually not know? I have no way of knowing. But the other two votes were to keep this format, so going forward I will continue wrapping up what I read, what I watch, and what I listen to. And that's it! A nice quick video for today. If you have any thoughts about anything I said in this video, please let me know down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you tomorrow for more Bookmas. Bye!